We're joined now by our baseball insider, Steve Phillips. And Steve, I guess first off, what was your reaction to the news of the day that Barry Bonds has been formally indicted? Well, I was very surprised by the timing. I just thought, you know, a lot of times these sorts of indictments get handed down at the end of a, a, a time period for a grand jury. We're not at the end of the time period. And I'm surprised. It, it makes you think that some new news happened that gave them that final little bit of information to hand down the indictment. That's not what we're hearing, though. We're hearing that nothing really changed. They just thought they crossed the T's and dotted the I's, and now was the time. So what does this mean, then? What is Barry Bond's future in baseball? Well, I think he's played his last game in Major League Baseball. There's not a general manager out there that's going to be willing to go to an owner and say, you know what, let's give Bonds an opportunity and a chance. There's not a fan base that will accept him. Plus, you know he's going to be distracted, setting himself up, preparing for the hearing. And if you sign him, you run the risk of having to go through the legal wranglings of undoing that contract if, in fact, he has to serve time. All right, so what impact, then, if any, will this have on the record books? And then, of course, Barry Bonds' legacy is the home run king. Well, you know, the commissioner of baseball, Bud Selig, has been reluctant to address the record book issue. But now I think this opens the door. If, in fact, he is found guilty, I think the commissioner can now either strike him from the record book or put an asterisk there and put Hank Aaron back atop the home run record. As far as Bonds' legacy, this shatters his legacy. Nobody will remember how good he was prior to the 1999 season. I mean, this guy was an MVP multiple times prior to all of the speculation of steroids, but from now on, he's the poster boy for the steroid era. Well, it is just the beginning of the story, Steve. Thanks for your time. He's our baseball insider, Steve Phillips. Barry Bonds attorney John Burris released this statement. I'm surprised, but there's been an effort to get Barry for a long time. I'm curious what evidence they have now they didn't have before. Bud Seelig, Commissioner of Major League Baseball, released this statement. I take this indictment very seriously and will follow his progress closely. It is important that the facts regarding steroid use in baseball be known. We will continue to work diligently to eradicate the use of all illegal performance-enhancing substances from the game.